this past week's pickups episode number 19 so we had a, another card show we went to got some really nice stuff this time i actually set up at this show i was able to sell a good amount and i essentially whatever i sold i bought with i spent money at the end of the show i was able to get around a little bit even though it was a, a pretty busy show i just kind of at the last half hour or so was able to find some nice stuff so let's get into it here see what we got first off we've got a couple of certified autographs from tops we got a nice scott Rowland and a tom kelly fan favorites card there so those are 15 for the pair they were marked at 10 i don't know what these are worth we got like a mike trout prism and a lebron mosaic card that was five for the pair i thought that was a good deal and then picked up this 1968 tops pat dobson psa 7 and that was 15. i think those are the tigers cards from that year are generally worth more since they won the championship next off we got a little lot of basketball here it was 80 dollars for these so two of these pete maravich cards these are 1971 two of those pretty nice looking cards pretty decent shape we got a one of these here sticker cards from 71 so this was just i tried to lot up a little bit of stuff from the same dealer you got a, just a leaders card here an 87 88 julius Irvin, and then also we were able to get a rick berry this is his rookie 71 tops nice card there also next off we've got a dealer that i bought a lot from in the past he's got a really a lot of really nice stuff so i was able to find some items here so someone i bought a lot of photos from in the past so these are the iowa cubs photographs had these pictures taken went back and had the players sign up so we've got jim essien grant jackson who just passed away recently so these were two dollars a piece and also mickey kelleher he also passed away he must have been a scout or something at the time maybe front office he played for the cubs and must have done that for maybe he was a scout for the big league club i'm guessing we got an old school postcard here so this is a neat item this is the polo grounds in new york and on the back we have a note on here and it's postmarked right there we see 1949 I think it's kind of neat to look through these so this was a person from iowa this actually was this dealer's father the his father had a whole bunch of really cool stuff and i've been buying quite a bit over the past few years from them and he's just got a note too this is from a friend of his so kind of a neat note talks about the yankees there on there a couple of of these sports caster cards they were two dollars each and then we have i think these are iron-ons from like 64 65 so we had a tony conigliero that was only four dollars and then we had a john roseboro that was two i think they're iron-on transfers and this was a neat card i thought 1948 signal oil earl jones yep so earl jones and i don't know a ton about the, i'm a little bit i know they exist but that's all about i really know about these cards i think they must be pacific coast league is what i'm guessing so nice i don't have any of those cards more from the same dealer so bob feller a couple real nice bob feller vintage cards signed we got a 52 tops and then a 53 tops pretty tough to come by these these cards by themselves are pretty expensive so those two cards and then these others which we got a robin roberts 63 tops i paid 300 for those three and then a handful of cards here this has to be a pretty difficult one bill connors and dave dowling this is a 67 so we got a dual signed card there just some 
kind of random stuff here. Dick Kenworthy, Don Eddy, Dave Lamont, signed by both. Joe Decker, 74. Randy Hundley, who's tough, 70. Another one of these 72s just signed by Don Eddy. There's another Joe Decker. George Altman. Dick Woodson, who's tough. Jack Hamilton. And then we got Dwayne Josephson, 67. He's from Iowa. He's deceased. He's a tough signature also. So pretty nice group of autographs. Again, for these, it was I paid 300 for those. I think that's well worth it with those Bob Fellers. Tough to find those. I do have a couple of each of those already, I believe. I'll have to go through my collection and find out. But the next lot here was able to get some real nice stuff here. I haven't looked through these since I got them. Let's see what I picked up. First off, we've got 1958 tops. Todd, uh, Ted Williams. This is card number one. Going to be a little more condition sensitive since it is the first card. Not too bad a shape, probably VG. Next, we got a Cal Ripken Tools of the Trade numbered number out of a hundred. Joe Namath. 1970 tops PSA 3 and here's a highlight here one of the highlights here this is a manager's dream 1962 tops maize and mantle I mean not not in bad shape really probably VG VG excellent I'm not sure what this card books out at but you know 50 bucks on that he also had so he's got a Goody here. I picked up this one, Red Faber. It's a BVG graded three. So a nice card there. Tough to find these Goody Hall of Famers. This was an interesting card. This is an SP auto of Early Combs. Early Combs is extremely difficult signature. He had a hundred on this. It's He's really tough. I think he died in 76, and a lot of his mail was signed by his wife. This looks like it's maybe cut out of an album page or something, but it's numbered 11 out of 11. SP Authentic Autograph. Pretty hard to find these. These are from, looks like, 2007. Now, these prices don't really reflect what I paid because this was a $10 card, even though it's marked 30. Jim Palmer, Upper Deck Etchings Autograph. Here's a Rosie Greer, 56 tops. Oh, that's his rookie. A 63 Al Kaline. Here's a beat up Jim Palmer for 10. That's his rookie. This was also 10. This is Albert Pujols bat card. I have no idea what year that is or what it's worth. We got a 67 Bob Gibson, 66. Ernie Banks. So he had some Miguel Cabrera autographs. I really think his stuff is undervalued. You know, he was legitimately one of the greatest hitters ever. Power, average, RBIs. So we got leather cuts. That was 20. Endorsements, autograph, another 125, another 125. Pack Wars. Again, I, these aren't the actual prices I paid. I paid 500 for all these cards. So really tough one here. This is a Bob Lilly, 1963 tops. These are short print. All the Cowboys were short printed. This is actually probably a $200 card. Really hard to come by these. Really happy to get this one. So I will probably write to him with this. He signs to the mail for a fee. I'm planning on sending that one off. Here's another difficult card. Dusty Baker, Don Baylor, Tom Pachork. This is a 71 tops high number. I think this is like a $75 card. I'll have to comp those out. But another one of these manager's dreams, $60. I am not, I got to look up these. I had one at one point. I was able to get two just off this dealer today. So pretty nice. And then we had some dollar cards here. 
nothing major just some kind of vintage stuff there's a babe ruth scoops card this is actually probably just a guess a 25 dollars card or something and i know some of these kind of cards these posts are jello i think these are jello i'm just taking a chance on these but for a couple bucks some of these are short printed i think maybe one of those at least is short printed we'll have to find out pitching leaders 64 tops there's a dale murphy rookie a mike trout i think that's like his third year barry sanders rookie there's another 63 cowboys those like i said those are short printed goose gossage auto mike scott fan favorites auto alan craig i have no idea what this is worth but it was three bucks it's a rookie refractor auto there's a Jose Canseco, 58 tops baseball thrills, Hank Aaron. Here's a archives, Jordan. Now these are nice, these epic signatures, upper deck. These are five apiece. Don Maynard just passed away, Paul Warfield, both in the Hall of Fame. These are really nice signatures. A lot of these epics you'll see are really faded these are perfect nice ones there carl ferrillo for five dollars 56 tops and then we got a 70s kareem we have some 70 tops tall boys it was 10 for all of these not sure who's in here but we had a lake thurman on top it looks like mostly commons but i think there were 10 of these cards or so 10 bucks not bad there and then we had steve largent 77 tops this is a second year walter payton 77 another 63 tops football don meredith again the cowboys short printed and finally we had a steve spurrier autograph he was the heisman trophy winner in 19 66 nice card there these aren't that easy to find really so yeah 10 bucks on that again that group 500 dollars for these around a thousand for everything i think between the tables and the cards it cost me a thousand and that's i believe that's roughly what i sold so everything i sold went right back in sold you know a thousand dollars for a small show is pretty good you know i can't I definitely cannot complain about that anytime you're doing that I think you're doing all right and again most of the stuff that I'm selling it's not like high dollar stuff you know I'm dealing more in stuff that two and five dollar cards ten dollar cards and you know some twenty dollar cards here and there but in general we're just doing kind of dealing in lower price cards that you know anyone can come along and buy stuff you know I'm not have I don't have a ton of higher price stuff I do have that kind of stuff but I like to sell you know stuff that people like to look at and you know everyone can buy something from me so again we're putting it all right back in buying you know whatever I generally whatever I sell I try to buy as much as I can at shows so I was able to get around and get this stuff today so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this one I've got a bunch of stuff coming in going to have more of these once every week on Monday so stay tuned for those. Check out the links below and follow me on Instagram. And thanks for watching, guys.